Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Chandrika and this is Riga Life. So welcome to all of my new and old subscribers. I'm so glad you're here with me today. On this channel, I share lots of yarny goodness, things I've bought, things I've made, and just everything about yarn. So today I have a few different things that I want to share with you. Um, one being a new yarn, one being a special project I worked on, one being um, the hats that I've been designing, that I've been making tutorials for. I realized that I haven't shown those on my channel. I've only posted the tutorials, so you might not know that I've been making new hats. And then, of course, I have um, some finished objects as well that I want to share. So um, there's tons to get through it, but I'm going to share with you first my special project that I've been making. Um, so, you know, trends keep coming and going. And I was on social media last week and I saw that people were using beads to make uh, weighted blankets, crochet weighted blankets. And um, I saw this and I just got so excited and I was like, I need to do something with beads. So we went looking and my daughter had um, a bead set. It didn't have that many in it, but I just pulled it out and I pulled out some black yarn. This is what I made. I made this little pouch. It's so cute. So I was thinking of lining it as well, but... Basically, I made this panel and I did the beads. I was working this way and then afterwards this became the top and I attached another panel at the back and this is just a nice cute little pouch or, you know, zippered purse. I haven't put the lining or the zipper yet, but that is the idea behind this. And um, the way I did this is the same way I did the second one. So this was the first one and this was the second one. Okay, this this one, um, the colors are all random because this is what was left of the beads. So I just, um, you know, without any rhyme or reason, I just went with it. So this is the same. This is a little pouch. Now for both of these, um, what was it? Oh, here. So for both of these, the method that I used was I simply strung the beads onto my yarn beforehand with a... Um, with a yarn needle and then I started crocheting. So then as I came to that bead, I pulled it over and then I made my stitch. And so that's why the beads are at an angle and they're not straight. So you can see that in both of them. So that was the method I used and I like whipped these out in like a matter of, you know, a few hours because I was just so excited. I was like, I want to get on this bead trend and I want to do something. So I've made both of these and I'm just like so delighted with them. Um, and my daughter loves them too. So she's ready to start using them. I just need to like, either I need to create a handle or something. It's just some way to close this so that she can start putting things inside. So that was the second one. And this was the first one. So after doing that, I decided to order some beads. <laughs> so I've ordered off of um, Amazon. This is one set and this is the other set. They're the same. They're just one has more than the other. Um, these are called pony beads. So these have like a large opening in the middle. Let me just see if I can take one out to show you. So all beads are different. These are called pony beads. And it just, um, the size of this is it's a nine millimeter pony bead. So that makes it big enough to do crocheting with it. And these colors are just beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to using them. I actually was working on a baby blanket and I was working on the border and I was thinking of using these in the border. So That'll be my next baby blanket, or I'm thinking even if I make a granny square type idea um, that I can put some beads in there. So I won't necessarily be using it for like a weighted blanket, but I just want to add it in as like an accessory, like just something to give it a little bit of, you know, 
uniqueness. Um, so for these two um, pouches that I showed you, I actually use Big Twist Value Yarn, one in white and one in black. The white one, I'm not sure if you can tell on screen, but it has a sparkle. I'm not sure if that's showing up on the screen or not. Um, but it, it's actually Big Twist Twinkle, so it has a sparkle on it. I don't think it's showing up. It's a really nice sparkle. So that is what I used for that. And I used a J6 millimeter hook. That's what I used with it. Um, now, as I mentioned, I just stringed on all the beads in the beginning and then I started the project. Now, that's one way to do it. The second way to do it is to go and put beads as you're working on the project. So you would just take one bead at a time. So I found my smallest hook and the smallest hook I have is an F 3.75 millimeter hook. It's this little one here and it goes through the beads. So I kind of tested it out um, and it does fit through the beads. So yeah. So now I can, I don't need to string them on from the beginning. I can just you know, make my stitch with this, then switch to the smaller hook and do this. Uh, so after I saw people posting these things on social media, I immediately went on YouTube and I was like, okay, let's see if people have tutorials on YouTube. And what I found is that people did have tutorials on YouTube for using beads with crochet. However, those tutorials were five and seven years old. So I think this is a trend that's come about five, seven years ago, and now it's coming back again. Um, so let me know if you have any interest in like learning more about this. Um, I can make a tutorial. I just haven't, you know, reached that point yet. So uh, there's a little bit of math involved just going around the rectangle once you're done. But um, otherwise, it's just a really fun project. So. It's just one of those fun projects, so I was not thinking of doing a tutorial for it. Um, I'm actually working on, where did I put it? I'm working on a granny square, granny square, yeah, <laughs> pattern. Um, I have one that I made earlier, so I'm just going to be testing it again and then seeing if I can make it into a pattern. So that's that. Okay. Before we get too far into the video, I want to show you the hats that I've been making and that I've been making tutorials for. So this is a fresh air hat. And that was my sample and this was my sample. And this is the one that I made in the tutorial. So let's just put this on so you can see what it looks like. So. This is a pretty big hat on me. It's um it's coming down near my ears and it's so cute. So that's one of them. I think the next one will fit almost exactly the same. That's the second one. So I've made these a little bit big on the big side and um of course everyone's head is a different size but this will fit me a little bit better. Yeah. So that's the fresh air beanie or fresh air hat that I made. So that is on my um, on my channel. You can find the tutorial for this. In the picture, I think you'll see this one. I forgot, you might see these two. So that is on my channel. So check that out and you can definitely make that hat. And then I'm going to show you the second hat. So the second one I made is a bucket hat can't even see where's the front and back of this okay so this is the one that I was playing around with and I made this bucket hat so this one fits me like this oh it looks so cute so that is my bucket hat this is done with um, this is Hershner sweet swirls and the last ones were as well this is Hershner sweet swirls and then this is uh, Karen simply soft in neon pink that is showing very bright and that is how bright it is. So this is my um, summer bright bucket hat and this is also on my channel. The one I made in the tutorial is a um, an orange color and that was Big Twist Rave. 
So for these two, I used an H5 millimeter hook, but for the Big Twist Rave, I used an I5.5 millimeter hook. And so that hat turned out massive. That was just because it was something bright and it was a solid color and that's why I used it for the tutorial. But of course, you're welcome to use any yarn you want, any weight, any fiber. It's totally up to you. This is really fun. Maybe I'll just keep this on. Okay. Hopefully that's not too distracting. Uh, well, now you can't really see my face that good, but I'll keep it on for a couple minutes. Maybe I can turn my light on so you can still see my face. There you go. Just to, okay. Uh, all right. So those are my hats. Those are on my channel. One is a fresh air hat and one is the summer bright bucket hat. So you can go ahead and make those. Those are there for your viewing pleasure. Um, they both have a full video tutorial and they both have a full written pattern, which is available on Ravelry. Everything is linked there with the tutorial. I have an entire tutorials playlist on my channel, so you can check that out and everything is there in one place. Okay, I'm going to share with you one finished object and then we will get to my new yarn. So, I have been loving the moss stitch and I have been loving making shawls. So, this is a moss stitch shawl. And this is done with a Karen, Karen, with a line brand mandala cake in Arendelle. Okay, and that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. It has these pinks and then these blues. Let's see. I think it fits pretty good. So, yeah. Oops, sorry. Uh, this is a moss stitch triangle scarf no triangle shawl and um, I loved working on this I absolutely loved it if you've not tried out the moss stitch I would highly recommend you to try it out it is such a fun stitch all moss stitch is is single crochet chain one single crochet and then you do the same in the row below so then you'll be doing the single crochets in the chain one spaces of the row below okay this is done. This is, I feel like this is just an ongoing one. I just finish a moss stitch shawl and then I start another one. So, um, it's just all my man line brand mandala yarn. That's what I keep using it for. Okay. This is getting kind of crazy with my glasses. I'm going to take it off. Now I have hat hair. Hat head. Okay. So that was my finished object. Um, this is line brand mandala yarn. I used an H5 millimeter hook and it's very fast once you get started and I just love how it works up. So I highly recommend that. You can go on YouTube and just search for moss stitch shawl or moss triangle moss stitch scarf and you'll find a couple of tutorials for this. I love, love, love this. So that is one that I wanted to share with all of you. Let me just see if I can get a good shot in here. Okay. So now we come to the part in the video when I share with you two more things. Okay. So first is if you watched my video from, um, what are we on? Yeah, if you watch my video from Monday, then you will have seen that I am doing a challenge and the challenge is to not buy any more yarn until I've used 50 balls of yarn, five zero. So because of that, I've just been like taking out all these kind of whips and just, you know, half done projects and just things I'm finding and just like finishing them. So I will give you an updated count of how many balls I've used. I think I'm at 10, so that's two, four, six, eight. Oh, I think I'm at 11, hold on. So I have two um, Premier Bloom Chunky, and then I have two, four, six of the Hirschner's Baby Sparkle, so that is eight, and then 
one sunset nights i made a shawl and one hershner sweets world so i have 10 i've already used 10 out of 50 so i think i'm doing really good with my challenge now that being said sorry one second that being said before i started my challenge i went um to use my mother's day gift card for michael's and I also went to Joanne's to return some stuff and I ended up buying, I had a $5 off any purchase of $5 or more that I had earned. That was a reward I earned at Joanne's. So I bought these two yarns. So I have used this before. This is Big Twist Party and this is the color Lavender Bellini. So I have used this yarn before, not this color, but I made a blanket for my daughter's bus driver um, two years ago, I think. So this is not a new yarn, but um, I'll tell you about it. It's available at Joann's. This is their own brand. So this is Big Twist Party. It's 100% acrylic. It is 240 yards or 220 meters, a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram ball. Recommends an I 5.5 millimeter hook. It's a medium four weight machine washable dry flat and it's made in Turkey and this was a color lavender Bellini. So it's a really beautiful color and the other color I picked up was actually Big Twist Rave in Unicorn and so this is a new yarn by Joann's. This is a roving style yarn. And this one has these beautiful greens, like almost like a teal color with purple, with like a lilac purple color. And it's just so dreamy. So I was into the purples when I went to Joann's. So I had bought these two. So that's that. And then when I was, before that I went to Michael's. And Michael's was having a clearance sale on Karen Skinny Cakes. I have only used Caron Skinny Cakes one time before and I used it to make um, a, a block stitch blanket and I held one strand of the Karen Skinny Cakes and I held one strand of Big Twist Value just to make it thicker because I felt like the three weight was a little too thin for me. So I'm going to show you the colors that I got. Um, Karen Skinny Cakes originally at Michael's are $12.99. These were on clearance for $5. Okay, this is the color Peach Mint. That's the first one I got. So I got two of these. It's very, very pretty. So I don't know if you can see the peach part. Yeah, there's the peach part. And then there's, there's like greens and there's tans and peaches. And this just reminded me of the beach. Oh my gosh, I just fell in love with this color and there were two, so I picked up both of them. I will tell you about this yarn, Karen Skinny Cakes. It's 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. It is 7, 795 yards or 727 meters, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams. Machine washable and dryable. It, rec it is a light three weight. It recommends a G four millimeter hook. And this is the color peach mint. I'm gonna show that to you again. So it's quite thin because it's a three weight. It is quite thin. It is definitely a three weight. It's not a four weight. So um, I bought both. I bought both of these because I was hoping I could run them together so we'll have to see about that. It seems like this one is starting off with white or green. This one is start, yeah, this one is also starting off with white. So let's see, maybe I can make that work. Those were the first two I got. So again, these were $5 each. Um, I bought this now over a week ago. So I don't think, I don't know if there's any left. Um, this is the next color called Spearmint. And this is really beautiful, happy colors. Kind of reminds me of like a pond i don't know why just like the water the algae the lily pads it's just giving me that very spring vibe so i wasn't like in love with this color on the ball but i felt like once it works up it's going to be really pretty so that was the color spearmint and then i bought the color cupcake this is so pretty i love this 
it's like almost like this teal color so this is a beauty I think it starts off with the purple there so that's another one and then I have two more this is the color blueberry ice nice shades of blue in there very nice again blueberry ice and the last color that I have is grape. This is grape. It's so pretty. I love it. Just, just, they have such happy colors in this brand of yarn. Sorry, I think I got something in my mouth. Um, they had such happy colors and I just, it was $5. Like, when do you get 795 yards for $5? That doesn't happen. That might only happen at like the Hobby Lobby clearance sale, which I am not going to be going to. So this was six balls of yarn, six cakes of yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six. This was all my yarn. <laughs> you can't even see the colors, but anyways, you get the idea. This was what I bought. Um, I'm actually thinking of something else and I am as you know I've bought so much yarn so now I'm done buying yarn I'm not going to be buying yarn until I use 50 balls of yarn so that is the first part of my challenge now in this bin behind me I have yarns that have kind of been sitting um, all my new stuff is in my yarn closet so I am thinking that before, oh, sorry. Okay, let me finish my thought. Before I go ahead and start using all this new yarn that I purchased, I want to use the yarn that was already here. So I'm going to make an effort to use the yarns that are in this bin and in this bin before I go into my yarn closet. So I'm going to try that. We'll see how that goes. Um, but that's kind of my intention is I don't want to just keep using the new yarns and then the yarns that I bought, you know, earlier this year or last year just kind of are hanging out so I'd like to not just use the last things that I got like the newest things I got I want to use the things I've had from the beginning so there's that okay you may or may not see there's three yarns right here sorry this is coming in the way so there's a couple yarns right here with my pillow uh these are Karen Jumbo yarns that I bought from Joann's and then this is the Mandala bonus bundle so I'm actually going to be returning those three. I don't like these two colors and this one I, you know, it's going to be sitting there. So I'm actually going to be returning those to Joann's. I have my receipt um, in my email because I had purchased those for like a pickup order. So I will just be returning those. I have, you know, no attachment to them. I just don't really like those colors anymore. So I'm just going to return them. And that will be that. Um, yeah. So that is what I had to share for today. We got to see these beautiful beaded pouches that I made. We got to see the new yarn. These are like, oh, I love these. I just love these. So there's going to be lots more beading fun in my future because now I bought some more beads for myself. Um, these Karen Skinny Cakes are going to hang out for a bit while I work on my yarn that I have here. Um, those hats, don't forget to check out my tutorials. And then definitely try a moss stitch shawl. It's so much fun. What else? Um, yes, I will be working on a granny square. So um, I also posted uh, over the weekend, I posted a uh, Q&A. So if you have any questions for me, just find that post in the community tab and post your questions in there. I will be using that for an upcoming video where I will go through all your questions and I will try to answer as many of them as I can. So definitely go back and find that post in my community tab and let me know what questions you have. Um, I've already received some really interesting questions, so I am excited to do a QA. and a um, And yeah, there's just so much fun happening, so much yarny goodness. It's nice and hot here in Texas, but, you know, we're going to keep crafting. We're going to keep making beautiful, beautiful things. So I wanted to thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
As always, I hope you have a wonderful crochet full day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.